Uh, not only our own sin produces uh, this heartbreak, but sometimes the sins of others creates heartbreak. We go back to Genesis chapter 16, the story of Abraham and Sarah. And they were way up in years. God had promised a son and no son was in sight. And so Sarah says, here's my handmaid, uh, Hagar. Abraham, why don't you see if you can have a child with her? Hagar's kind of working for these people. She doesn't have any choice. She ends up pregnant. She delivers a child. Now Sarah, who had this brilliant idea, God's little helper, I call her, she decides, uh, I don't like, I resent this woman. She's got this child, Abraham, spending time with the child. And in uh, verse 6 of Genesis 16, it says, Abraham says to Sarah, Indeed, your maid is in your hand. Do with her as you please. And Sarah makes Hagar's life so miserable that Hagar flees from their presence. Verse 7 goes on. The angel of the Lord found her by the spring of the wilderness, spring of water in the wilderness. And then verse 8, and I'll give the point I want to make. The angel of the Lord says, Hagar, Sarah's maid, where have you come from? And where are you going? She said, I'm fleeing from the presence of my mistress, Sarah. It goes on, and there's some dialogue. And I love this story because this heartbroken woman, broken because of the sin of somebody else, they pushed her into this. She's alone, by herself, a single mom, and God finds her. God comes alongside and says, where have you come from? Where are you going? What's your story? How did you get here? Where are we headed with this thing? God finds her. In your brokenness, God will find you. And it could be that it's from the sins of somebody else. That you've experienced pain and hurt and betrayal, and loneliness. I don't know where it's going to be that God will find you. I don't know where your brokenness takes you. Maybe it's just sitting at your kitchen table. It might be in a jail cell. It might be in a hospital bed. It might be at a funeral home. It might be in your vehicle. God will find you. He's not far. He's close to the brokenhearted. 